Hi there, this is my look. And this is a UAP Kinetica 3 star Kite Mark lock. Uh, sold secure diamond cylinder. It's a fairly challenging bitting. High at the front, high at the back, and a good deep low in the middle. Key's a bit grunchy going in, but there we go. and uh, it's the thumb turn version. You have to push the thumb turn in to, to engage the cam. It's got anti-snap protection, so uh, when you when you pick it, it's a dead cam. So uh, you have to you have to try and pick up the cam using a wee technique. Which is easy enough when you can see the cam uh, and you can tell you've picked it up. But um, yeah, if it's in a door, that might not be so easy. So we'll use that for tension. We'll start off using uh, Picksmith's uh, Custom Pick Rubird. Sorry folks, I've got the phone plugged in because it was nearly out of battery. That's how camera shy this lock's been tonight. I've picked it successfully four times. Right there. For one reason or another. <laughs> I ended up in disaster with the camera rolling. Uh, yeah, it'll be alright tonight, eh? We've had a bit of movement on the core. We're in a, a shallow false set. And there's a deeper one to be had. Uh, I don't know what sort of security pins are in here, but uh, I definitely feel like there's T-pins. Uh, sometimes just giving those pins a bit of a an extra little nudge. It's a uh, that's all it takes to get it into a bit of a... We have to get the pins to set fully. So. Uh, I'll need to watch somebody somebody else's video on YouTube uh, Gatton just to see how uh, how how much of a traumatic experience getting this lock would be. I'm guessing because of the uh, the anti snap protection. There's there's a loaded mechanism in the in the cam there I'm guessing that would be a bit of a headache especially as far as reassembly goes you know, it's often easy enough to take something apart in fact in my experience things readily want to <laughs> fly apart in all different directions it's getting them back together that's the tricky bit I'm trying to swap out to the wall up tools curve. And we're definitely in a deeper full set there. And we'll try and find a bit of counter rotation. Don't think that was it.
Let's see if the blue bird can get over that deep, deep cut on the other side. Let's do it again. I've had a, I've had a couple of fairly quick opens from this tonight, and you know, while I was practicing it, ah, damn it, we've lost it. Um, uh, when the camera's rolling, nothing seems to be going right. Let's go along these pins and try and nudge them. There we go. We're back into this false set scenario. There we go. So that's the that's the lock picked, but as you can see, we've not picked up the cam. So we'll try and pick up that cam using a wiper wire tensioner. So we'll don't want to lock it up, but we want to get close. Oh, I thought we had it. Yeah, we do, we do. So, we've got the calm. And there we go. That's the full 360. So, another one of these. I've got mixed feelings about this lock. Uh, it's, the key goes in, uh, but it just doesn't. It doesn't feel like the nicest, smoothest lock out there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's plenty of security features, so it's. It just feels a bit grunchy and a bit. Bit 
sticky and catchy. I just yeah, not not a huge fan, but uh, give it its due. Tricky pick. I did not find this one easy. I mean that that bitting might not have helped. Um, But yeah, uh, I'm not going to get this one. Like I say, I'll need to do a bit of research and find out just how much of a traumatic experience getting it would be. And uh, if it doesn't look too bad, I might, I might pick it again in the future and do a full gutting video as well. But uh, that's it for the moment. If you've stuck with me for the last 10 minutes, then uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.